Hey everybody, it's Rachel O' Beauty and today's video, my top do's and don'ts for natural girls who are looking to wear wigs. Please stay tuned and watch today's video. The Let's Talk Mom to Mom Tour is coming to New York September 24th. Get your tickets. Link in description box. All right, you guys. So this is kind of an update video on this kinky curly yakky wig. I got it about a month and a half ago to review. And since that time, I've been I've been doing lots of experimenting with it. Tons of research on wigs because I think if you are a natural girl like me, the whole idea of wearing a wig sounds very unnatural and just for that reason you're like okay if I'm gonna wear a wig it needs to look natural and I completely feel you and understand because trust me that is like the number one reason why I did so much research so I'm going to share with you guys um some of my tips and actually do a couple of little demos so you can see exactly what I mean all right you guys so first of all you need to braid or twist your hair as you know, natural hair can be pretty poofy, so make sure it's nice and braided so that your your the base of your hair is nice and flat. This is the um, this is how I braid my hair. I leave a little bit out in the front so that I can have a little bit of my natural hair showing at the front of the wig, and this really helps it. This really helps the wig to look um, a little bit more naturally blended with my hairline. Obviously, you're going to need a little bit of gel, so make sure you smooth down your edges really well. And here you see me just putting the wig on. You want to make sure that you have that wig cap on and that you have the clips in it as well as the wig secure on your head. Now, I'm using the Got To Be Gel, which is a very popular product that helps the wig to stay on longer. That's what you see me doing here with the blow dryer, just letting the gel dry onto my scalp. And it's going to help the wig to stay on nice and secure. I love this comb because it helps me to blend the wig with the with my hair. Uh, as I mentioned, I am experimenting, so you can definitely pull your wig down a little bit more if it's back too far. Now you definitely want to add a little bit of concealer to your part so that it looks um, nice and blended with the wig as well. And then I'm using a little bit of brown eyeshadow to go in and, and um, blend the hair and blend the concealer as well. Definitely use a light amount of heat for styling your wig. This helps a lot. Okay, go in there so I can finish this video and we can get ready to go. Hi, I love my mommy. I'm mommy's baby girl. Yes, she is. Give him a kiss. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Okay. But I think the number one tip that I have for you guys is the texture of the wig is definitely, definitely important. I really like the yakky textures. This is considered light yakky, and it's because it it it's not that shiny European. Um, it doesn't have that shiny European look. Like to me, that's a dead giveaway. And also, if it's really, really long, and your natural hair isn't long, that's another dead giveaway. The last thing that I want to say to you guys is make sure that you really care for your wigs. Shampoo them, um, condition them, and do so on a, on a regular basis. Really use light product. Do not weigh them down with a lot of product, which is something that we natural girls tend to do for our real hair. We tend to like a lot of product on it. So um, I hope that these tips have been helpful to you guys. I have a couple of more reviews coming up on, on wigs because... You know, they are now a regular part of my lifestyle. I don't wear them every week or even every day. But when I do wear them, I love for them to look natural and beautiful. And I, I feel beautiful in them. So these are my top tips. I hope that you guys have enjoyed them. Stay tuned. Come back next week for more tips and tricks.